Hi, welcome back to another family food shop. So this week I've been to Tesco's and at the end of the shopping haul I'm also going to share with you the meal plan for the week for my family of seven. If you're not already following me over on Instagram you can pop on over at Ashley Bailey and I post every Monday there our meal plan for the week as well. So if you're finding yourself stuck in a rut or just lacking inspiration hope you'll find that helpful. Now if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I like to shop but I do like to shop on a budget and save money where I can as well. So this video has been kindly sponsored by Piggy. If you haven't heard of them before I will link the details down below in the description box but when you click on my link it will take you through to joinpiggy.co.uk and there you will find lots of amazing deals with voucher codes and cashback options across 6,000 different online retailers. Now when I was first introduced to Piggy I was surprised that some of the big stores that I would shop on frequently such as eBay and Amazon were even included as well. Now there's something for everyone across all categories from home and garden, dining and entertainment and favourites like clothing and beauty and even travel as well. So when you do click in the link of join Piggy it will give you the option to add the free Chrome extension browser as well. I'm not very technical but it really is as simple as it says. You click add and you will download the Chrome extension and like I said it's free to use. Then you go about your business doing your shopping online, searching your products and the Piggy Chrome extension will find those voucher codes and cash back options for you and apply those at checkout as well so there's no inconvenient typing in codes the piggy extension does it all for you so definitely a no-brainer for me if I'm going to buy a product I want to get the best price for it and definitely cash back or any extras like free shipping if I can as well so you want to take advantage of it like I said the link is down below now I've definitely got a little bit of shopping to do over the upcoming weeks I have got three of the kids birthdays over the next month and I'm also on the market for an air fryer I have never actually purchased an air fryer before I think I was just conscious that it would be another product to sit in the kitchen but I'm totally convinced I've seen so many recipes and so many people rave about them so I would love your recommendations if you have an air fryer and also recipes as well please leave them in the comments down below now on this week's food shop you will see in the meal plan I've included some air fryer options for the weekend so as soon as I get one ordered hopefully I will get cracking with the air fryer and you will see that in upcoming videos so anyway let's get to the shopping haul and see what we're going to make for the week ahead okay so then on to the food shop here I went to just the butchers for a few items and then the rest is all from Tesco's and it came to in total 128 pounds and obviously I've got more over in the counter that I'll take you through as well but we'll get the meat done so that I can get it in the fridge and freezer so like I said I went to my butcher's first of all and got a tray of 10 chicken fillets and it's £10 for that so I just bag them up and get them in the freezer and I will have two meals this week with chicken on it and the rest will be for lunches and things like that. Then with the butcher's counter within Tesco's I got this uh, 30 day aged beef roasting joint, quite a small one, 1.2 kilograms and that was £9.99. And then their pick and mix meat selection pack I went for a pound and a half of bacon and then four steaks there as well. So £10 for you can pick and mix what three kind of types of meat you want. Obviously you could do sausages, mince whatever you fancy and um, I won't be having steak dinner if I was it would be sirloin or fillet but these are actually going to be marinated down into a dish anyway so the bacon is more for lunches and then the steaks are on the meal plan then on to Tesco's I just got a pack of ham this is the Denny Fire and Smoke range and the children really like that with cheese in a sandwich for lunch then the four Atlantic cod fillets, haddock fillets even, and they are two bags. There's not that much in them, but that will be enough for what I've got on the meal plan for the week. And this is going to be for the air fryer as well. So they are sustainable anyway. I do like going to the fish counter, but it's not currently open where I am at the minute. Then on to the fruit and veg. You've seen me buy these before. I don't know if they do them everywhere or if it's just a Northern Irish thing in this size. But these are the Wilson 7.5 kilogram potatoes. They're a good all-round type of potato. I have two meals that will have potatoes on the meal plan this week. But 
they last pretty good. You would get two weeks out of them. So if you can get through them, 3.75 is really good value for that. Then these peppers were on offer, 79p for a set of three. It's obviously 129. If you don't want your green pepper, you will get two reds and a yellow, but these are gonna be cut down into dishes the children won't know anyway. So I've got two different meals that I need quite a lot of peppers for. Some baby corn, some sugar snap peas, and then the mini sweet corn as well here. I think they're an offer for 90p as well, which is quite good. Or you could just get them frozen. Some little gem lettuce. I'm going to do that for lunch. Again, that's just 35p. Two sets of crunchy apples, the usual bananas and a melon. And then I really like these large sized punnets of strawberries. So this is the 750 gram container and that will do probably you know two days for the children and their packed lunches and things so for three pound really really good value some peaches or plums what have we got there plums yeah <laughs> some plums and um, a little bit of rocket leaves and then this is the first time I've seen them actually in Tesco's. I always go to Marks and Spencer's for their candy floss grapes and they also do mango ones now as well which are insane. So I'm going to give these a go and see what they're like. But £2 for those so they're not even any more expensive than their normal grapes. And then we got some raspberries, just a 250 gram punnet there some oranges and then I have a few cherries as well so I've also got obviously fruit in the house to use up so this will really carry us through and the same with the vegetables just until kind of Friday and then I pick up for the weekend meals as well so then I did pick up some little things for school items and just a few toiletries which I'll take you through while they're sitting here anyway so typical box of 12 wipes they are 5.60 in Tesco's and we need to bring in just a few wipes and things like that into school so I'll drop that box in for the four classes then some more toothpaste Dylan needed his stronger gel some mouthwash and then this was on offer down to 1.50 it's the marshmallow bubble bath yeah shower and bath gel actually and I think I've maybe tried it before but I thought the children would like that and then I keep getting lists sent home with more and more things that needs to be sent into school so I couldn't get any green pens separately, so I did pick these up in a set and I'll just use the rest. Most of this stuff is half price, so it's really, really good value in Tesco's if you've still got a few school bits to get. So I think they were £1.50, then obviously these HB pencils are really good, particularly if you've got kids starting handwriting, so Dylan uses those. And then these are really good, I thought, just to have in the house with all the homework, so 50 of those, just £3 with rubbers on the end as well. Some Sharpie highlighters. These were only a pound. These are just their backup set for homework as well because I don't know where you are. They're obviously having to buy all the stationery and leave it in class and then we need the same things at home as well. So these are their washable markers. So they're just like felt tip pens and the two youngest boys needed those but they come out of school uniforms. If you ever find that your children get them all over your uniform, the Crayola washable ones are quite good whiteboard markers and then just some flexi rulers which are 80p and some pencil sharpeners which are 50p as well. So then with this section it's mainly just store cupboard type things. We've got some crisps and snacks, bread and then the dairy section. So we'd run out of cheese so some medium cheddar. That will be in a couple of dishes grated. I haven't tried the cream fields before. Well I don't think I have anyway um, so I thought I would give it a go because it's very reasonably priced and we'll see what it's like. 12 free range eggs and then two bottles so two two liters of semi-skim milk I'll definitely need to top up with a few more of those then three sets of six yogurt drinks obviously for the lunches these are the Tesco strawberry ones and then the squashums they were just a pound so they're an offer bread wise I've quite a lot of bread in or in the freezer to use anyway but just for the breakfast I got some New York bakery wholemeal bagels King's Mill, the multi-grain. This is the one the kids really like for their sandwiches or toast. Then these folded flatbreads. I really like the seeded ones, the multi-seed style ones actually, but the kids don't like them so much. So I've went for the white and they're really good. They're quite filling, actually quite deceptive for their lunches. And then some mini tortilla wraps for their lunches as well. 
and then a pack of 10 pancakes. So that will be with what we've got in the cupboard, most of the bread that we need for the week anyway. Then on to snacks, I've got six little packets here of the popcorn. We've got pom bears and then mini Mr. T's in cheese and onion as well. So they were a pound each for those bags. And then some plain pop doms that I need for with my curry. Then on to cereals, I definitely think because they haven't been getting up at seven o'clock for ages that they'll be reaching for cereal in the morning. So these are on offer down to 1.27. They're the multigrain Cheerios. I think they're pretty good when it comes to cereal, so I don't mind them having those ones. And then the larger box here was down to two pound, the Rice Krispies. And I really like to have those in for baking anyway. Although having said that, there's been a lot of treats over summer holidays towards the end. So I'm hoping not to have too much chocolate or treats or baking or anything like that. So then on to two tins of chopped tomatoes, four tins of baked beans. I'm completely out of them. So I got four of those. Then some orzo pasta. You can't get it everywhere I find. Sometimes it's quite tricky to get. But I absolutely love it. And I always add these to casseroles, soups, stews, that kind of thing. And it just bulks dishes up. But I've got a recipe for that this week. These Twix tops. I actually love them and I forgot that I didn't want to pick up any biscuits or chocolate. But they made it home. So I'll need to go and hide those now. Um, some sunflower oil. Hopefully now with the air fryer. I'll not need so much oil for any shallow frying or anything like that. Some clear honey I'd ran out of, mango chutney, and then these were just 20p each for the spaghetti, so I needed a few of those for the store cupboard. And then two bottles of squash, so we've got tropical, and then summer fruits, and then just three bottles of the fizzy summer fruits as well. So that's everything that I picked up, and like I said, I think I said anyway, that it came to £128. So then on to the meal plan, I have got Monday Irish stew and wheat and bread. Monday I don't tend to cook, so that is a batch I double made from last week if you watch the meals of the week. Tuesday, a nice easy chicken fajita pasta bake. And I could do that the night before if I needed to. This is the first full week of the kids back to school. So I have made things a little bit easy. Although I don't know why, because actually if anything I'll have more time than I have done for the last lot of months. Wednesday is going to be a slow cooker beef curry and I'll do nice fluffy basmati rice. And we've also got the poppadoms. Thursday will be our vegetarian day. We've got orzo stuffed peppers. I will have it with salad. The children like it with corn and the cobs. Friday is going to be something from the freezer so again it could be something I know I've got a lasagna in there and some double batch spaghetti bolognese then on to the weekend Saturday and Sunday I really want my air fryer to be here by then so I'm going to try making fish chips peas and onion rings I've done it on my channel before where I've shallow fried it and also done it in the oven but we shall see what it's like. And then Sunday, roast beef dinner with Yorkshire puddings. And I really want to try the roast potatoes and also the carrots and parsnips in the air fryer as well. Also to the side there, we do one thing a week where we're baking, but I'm gonna try making donuts in the air fryer as well and see how good they are. So that is everything on the meal plan for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below what's on your meal plan for the week and if you have any air fryer recommendations I would love to hear. So I will see you in the next video.